hey guys what is up welcome back to my channel in today's video it, this video will be a little bit different um as we are going to be doing a guide on how to be the best red dead redemption 2 online player possible not story mode red dead redemption 2 player online red dead redemption 2 player in one video i'm going to be showing you some of my tips and about three rec main recommendations that I would tell you to be the best Red Dead Redemption 2 online player possible. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first way on making the most amount of money um, and getting XP to be a better rank is call to arms. Um, now, if you are if you are already an amateur and playing Red Dead Redemption 2 online, you're, you are gonna know what I'm talking about. For those who do not know, Call to Arms is a 10 wave um, enemy challenge. It's kind of like zombies from Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but it's not zombies. Um, all you're gonna have to do is just kill the amount, the specific amount of em enemies on each wave, and each wave gets progressively harder. Now, if you're a beginner doing this, you're gonna have probably have to have a um, experienced Red Dead Redemption 2 player. Um, it will be hard if you are alone, um, just because you probably are gonna be a beginner. Um, it is not ideal for being alone, but you still can do it. You probably will not get far if you're a beginner. Um, you probably won't get far, period, if you are solo. Even if you're very good at RDR, Two, online, you're probably still going to get to about, like, wave six, which would give you about $100-ish, um, and a ton of gold. Um, but that's besides the point. I would recommend Call to Arms as one of my main recommendations. So, on to the next. Okay, guys, so this next thing will be story missions. Story missions are a great way to grind in Red Dead Redemption 2 for a good amount of money, a great amount of gold, and a good amount of XP. Um, story missions are missions that require a specific task, which are usually easy. Some of them require you to have um, a group of people to do it, um, and some of them just require you to be a solo. Um, you could do any story mission. Um, and some of you may be asking, how do you do story missions? All you have to do is either go to a random town on your map, and a like a little mini weight scale should be popping up somewhere in a town, and it should have like a yellow glow around it. That's that means that it is a story mission. Um, story missions aren't usually very hard, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Um, I don't know if there's a cooldown or not on story missions, um, but all I know is that story missions are a great way to grind and be a good Red Dead Redemption 2 online player. Alrighty guys, so this next thing will be the best way, but probably the hardest way to be the best Red Dead Redemption 2 player online or should i just say rdr2 online player um now this next thing will be bounty hunting bounty hunting it's pretty self-explanatory it's exactly what it sounds like all you have to do is hunt down a specific target either dead or alive alive giving you the most money dead giving you a deducted amount from the max amount of money when you have a target alive um, now there is going to be one requirement you're going to have to do, either to do a regular bounty or a legendary bounty. A legendary bounty is pretty self-explanatory, um, again, which it gives you the most amount of money possible. Um, so, moving back, back to what I was saying, the thing that you're going to need in order to be a bounty hunter will be very hard to get um depending on how you how hard you want to work um 
Um, but you're going to need 15 gold bars in order to have a bounty hunting license. Now, with that one, you are not allowed to be a bounty hunter. Um, ways you can get a good amount of gold bars is doing story missions um, and call to arms. Call to arms and story missions sometimes have double money events as well as bounty hunting. Um, but story missions and call to arms would be your best option to do to get a good amount of gold. But you are going to have to grind in both of those depending on the type of event that is going on. Um, so, there is another way to do it. I would not recommend to do it all the time. Maybe just this one time. Which is going to be to buy gold bars if you feel like it. Um, now this would cost $10, but for a very good amount of gold bars, being 25 gold bars for only $10. Now, 30 gold bars are usually $20, which is a very high price ten dollars i think is a great price for 25 gold bars that can now 25 gold bars can get you maybe a cool gun that will help you a lot for other things and it can also get you a prestige bounty hunter's license which allows you to get paid more money more give give you more xp and more gold um now yes you can do tons of different things with gold but um yeah there's nothing else to it guys but that is pretty much what bounty hunting is um when you do legendary bounties there's different types of stars when you start off on a legendary bounty um you're gonna start off with one stars and once you do it five times and complete it five times you are gonna get the most amount of money on five stars um, the best bounty when you're doing legendary bounties is definitely Red Ben Clemson by far. If you haven't checked out my other video, um, it was Red Ben Clemson on me beating him on 5 star. And it gave me about $200, which is an amazing, incredible amount for legendary bounties that are 5 stars. Um, most of the 5 star bounties give you uh, like not even a lot, like $60 to $70. Um, so, yeah, now we're going to be moving on to the small ways that you can make money and be a good Red Dead Redemption 2 player. So, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to explain the best ways or the ways that I do it. Um, now, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I have $13,000, 16 gold bars, and I have 61 roll rank tokens. After grinding for about seven months, um, I started to get back into Red Dead, but moving on, that's besides the point. Um, so the first tip that I'm going to tell you guys is doing um, hunting, is hunting animals. Now hunting animals is pretty self-explanatory. It is what it sounds like. All you have to do is um, kill a, preferably a three-star animal, um, right in the head. If you shoot it in its body a few times, um, you're not going to get a high amount of money. Um, because the condition of the skin, which is what you're going to have to sell, and you can also sell the meat of the animal. Um... If you shoot it in the head with like a bolt action sniper rifle, the bolt action sniper rifle is about $200, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, anybody. Um, but yeah, the best weapon to use is like a bow and arrow. And you're going to want to preferably sneak up on the animal or lasso them and then just stab them. I know it sounds morbid, but it's not. So all you have to do is get your lasso, um, lasso them. And then you're just going to slowly walk up to them and stab them. And it'll give you a perfect condition um, skin and f um, meat, which would give you the most amount of money with three stars. Now, one star being the worst amount of money and three stars being the best. It will tell you if you do, ha if you have found a three star animal on the bottom right. Um, 
so yeah um the way that you basically make money from um hunting is you're gonna have to go to a butcher which would you would then have to sell it in order to make the money um a butcher icon is basically like a a big knife i guess that's how you want to say it um but moving on to the next tip the next tip is kind of a small side tip which would be killing a bunch of lawmen or like farming kills um this would make your honor go very down like it'd make your honor level drop significantly um i honestly don't know what to say about this but all you have to do is just unfortunately kill lawmen which are the police in Red Dead Redemption 2 online or you could also just kill like innocent people um which would give you a pretty good amount if you headshot them you get a more more um XP and with XP you could get your rank up which would allow you to get better stuff basically um yeah okay guys now this next one isn't ideal for beginners because it's very hard um but this next one will be hunting down legendary animals it's basically the same thing as hunting down regular animals except it's way harder to find them and also to kill them um i'm pretty sure there's around 45 legendary animals or so um i don't know if i'm right or wrong i'm just assuming um but different animals give you different amounts of money um so if it's a critter you're most likely to get like a smaller amount if it's like a large animal like a grizzly bear you're gonna get a lot of money for that and xp um and you can also get another a really cool clothing piece if you are willing to pay like tons of money depending on how big or small the animal is um so like i said it's not very ideal um but if you do want to try out the try this out um you're probably gonna need to watch a field guide on that animal you want to do and also you're probably going to want to have an experienced rdr2 online player with you or to help you with it um so yeah just enjoy this one because it can be fun if you end up finding the animal so yeah alrighty guys um with that this will be a wrap unfortunately for this video um i hope you guys found this video helpful um, if you did, make sure to leave a like, turn on your post notifications, please subscribe to my channel. Um, let's try to get 200 subscribers. It would be very great if we got to 200 subs. Um, but, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, turn on your post notifications, and like always, guys, peace and peace. Have a good day.